Hello friends, welcome to the video lecture series on a data analysis with the help of Python. So in this uh, tutorial, we are going to see about uh, how you can select this individual uh, columns of the data frame object or you can select how you can select multiple columns of data frame object at a one time rather than watching each and every uh, column and uh, later we'll see about how you can select individual rows or even a cell level uh, granularity also will go if you want to select suppose some rows of some column then also you can go so uh, uh, let's first uh, import this panda library we'll rename it to the pd okay so we need some data for selecting columns and a row so let's just uh, read one uh, file i have already a titanic uh, data set available in my uh, same directory where i am running this uh, my development environment so let's just read uh, it's in a csv file so we'll use uh, read csv function i have a train.csv and i'll assign it to the df the data frame reference now uh, let's print uh, some couple of record first so we'll use head function it will just display the first five records okay so we have successfully read the train.csv file which is having a titanic data set so for each uh, every record i have already discussed this uh, data set in a earlier lecture but uh, for this lecture it's a titanic data set and it has a num each and every record uh, contains one passenger information something like a passenger id uh, whether it's survived or uh, not which class he has belonged to while sitting on a uh, titanic boat its name sex edge or even a ticket number fare or which cabin he has taken so this way all informations are there so what is our objective in this tutorial it has total three plus three six plus three plus total 12 rows are there but suppose for analysis purpose if you want to select some particular uh, column only or uh, some group of column uh, we want to uh, display how we can do it so on a df df is behaving uh, just like the way the dictionary data structure in a python behaves so in a df we just supply the individual column name so like a p class okay so it has displayed for us that the first record is three so second record is one this record three one okay. so this way we can display individual column so suppose we want to display the name of individual passenger so it has listed down all passengers name so this way we can select the individual column now suppose we want to select more than one column how we can uh, do it so let's see uh, for selecting uh, one column we have supplied the one column name the same way we can supply the multiple uh, columns names uh, in a arrays format in a string array format so let's see uh, how we can do it so we need all uh, columns name rather than going up so let's just uh, uh, display all columns name with the help of this column field on the top of data frame reference okay so it has displayed all pos columns are there which is passenger id survived and p class and everything now let's try to display a couple of columns rather than just single column so df and we will supply here as a array format so suppose we need a name and the ticket okay ticket so this is the only two column it will display okay we got it so rather than displaying the whole set of all columns this way we can uh, access the individual columns or the group of columns okay so it has a name and ticket let's try something else like a name versus fare okay so we got it name versus fare okay so this is uh, all about how we can select individual columns of this data set 
now let's go for selecting individual row how we can select the individual rows for that so for selecting individual uh, rows uh, all rows has been indexed with some name so if you see the very uh, first the column which is the first one actually it is like a indexing column then actually the first column second column will start so here all indexing names are there so in our case it's indexing is 0 1 2 3 only so it's all numerical value and all values from 0 to 890 so total number of 890 rows are there now suppose out of that we want to select suppose the fifth uh, rows only then how we can do it so df has one i location function so it's uh, i look and we can supply fifth okay so uh, it has displayed the fifth column fifth row actually so fifth row has a passenger id six survived is zero e class is three now how i can uh, verify uh, this value so we'll just display the df dot head all rows of first five rows so fifth row is nothing but okay we need somewhat more data because it's ha it has displayed the sixth one actually okay six zero three Moran Mr. James. Okay, we have got the 603 Moran Mr. James. So, in this way, we can select uh, uh, individual rows of the data frame object. Now, suppose we want to select the multiple rows. So, let's see how we can do it. So, in a DF, the same iLock function we can use it. Suppose we want to select uh, 423 and 424 row. So we can go like a 423 to 425. So 425 won't be included. So it will display total two rows. Okay, so 423 and 424 rows it will display and all the columns. So uh, we have seen till now that how we can select individual columns and group of columns or a group of rows or individual rows. Now suppose we want to select the individual cells. So suppose uh, this cells we want to uh, select it. So how we can supply rows and a column at the same time. So let's uh, let's first display the head function first few records and out of that few records uh, we'll try to display uh, some of the records so let's uh, we want to select the second rows and a fourth column so how we can do it so second row you can uh, apply on i lock function and in argument you can supply rows and a columns so second row is nothing but the very first index by value 1 this is the second row and we need to find the name so this is the zero first second and a third so I can give third okay so we have got this Cummings Miss Mrs. John Bradley that is what here actually so we have uh, got a particular call uh, cells now suppose we want to uh, display the group of cells like uh, uh, we want uh, all names which is having a row number between 500 and 600 suppose so uh, column name already we know about this so column will be indexed by the third column and all rows will be 500 to 600 okay so it has displayed from 500 to 600 all rows which is only third column of that so in this way we can do uh, the slicing of this data set we can individually select the uh, rows columns or individual cells of data frame object in a future lecture we'll see how we can put the condition on individual cells or a column level cells or a row level cell and we can extract those data something like equivalent to the where condition in our 
SQL query language. So I hope you enjoy listening this video. If you don't understand, please comment uh, below, and please do like, comment, and uh, subscribe it.